Module 8 looks at confidence intervals. We'll look at confidence intervals for one variable proportions and one variable means. Let's begin with a simple example. What's the proportion of blue colored M&M peanut candies? A natural place to begin would be to take a sample of M&M peanut candies and count up the number of blue candies and compare that to the total number in the sample. In this sample, there were 15 blues and a total of uh, 74 M&Ms altogether, so P hat is going to be 15 over 74. Now, from a previous chapter, we know that the distribution of all the P hats are going to be normally distributed with a mean equal to the proportion of the population. Our problem is that our p hat, we, we hope that it's close to this mean, but it's probably not the same. It could be somewhere off. What we'd like to, to do is find some margin of error. So if we subtracted the margin of error from the mean of this distribution and added that margin of error to the mean of this distribution, then the area between those two values is 90%. Now, we don't know what P is, but if we could find this, this ME so that that was the case, then we would know that our P hat has a 90% chance of being between this value and this value. Of course, there's a 10% chance that it's outside of there. Now, if we subtracted ME from P hat and added ME to P hat, then 90% of the time P hat will be between here and here. And notice that that interval that we've built, that is P hat minus ME and P hat plus ME, will all of that time, 90% of the time, that interval is going to include this mean of the population. Of course, it's true that 10% of the time p hat will be outside of here and miss it, or, or possibly down here. And then this red line, this, this red interval, misses the mean. But 90% of the time, it's going to capture that mean. That's what we mean by a confidence interval. And what you'll do in this module is learn how to use the standard normal distribution to help find this uh, margin of error, and then we'll be able to build that confidence interval. So there's a lot of new concepts to understand and some specific skills to master. Okay, good luck with the module.